Hey everyone, it's Eric here from Mavix. Got another video for you guys today. I got a little bit of an interesting one that we were doing a repair for for a customer. And it's something I think people should actually know, uh, maybe that, that they're not aware of. I got this nice, it's open here, so bear with me. It's a nice MSI um, G65 Stealth Thin. Uh, so it's turning on. And yeah, and there was a problem with it charging. The DC jack was actually a little, little bit loose in there. Um, so we did do a repair for that. And also there was a swollen battery as you can see here. Uh, it's easy to tell if you can see this is a little bit thick at the top. See these lumps on it either side? That means the battery is expanding. Uh, usually maybe there's a chemical imbalance in the battery. So the battery expands and eventually it can get worse, right? It can burst. You don't want to do that. So um, whenever we do that, we properly dispose of it and do a replacement for the battery for that. So we put that in there. It's actually working. Uh, it's charging, but something's going on with the charging. So sometimes it will charge and sometimes it will uh, discharge and you can see it sometimes go on and off a few times like what is going on here? I don't know what's going on. So um, <clears throat> Now you saw that this one is called a uh, stealth thin, right? And um, This is a gaming laptop It's MSI gaming laptop and a lot of gaming laptops usually have higher power requirements um, Even if it's more like efficient or something like that Maybe they especially in the thin models they they try to make it a little bit more uh, when they're thinner They usually make it a little bit more efficient and they try to uh, put like a, a, I wouldn't say like a, a downplay graphics card, but like maybe underclock graphics card. Um, they might name them a certain way too, uh, but they still want to get that power out of this and they want to make it thin because people like the thin chassis. But when you get a thin chassis, you usually have, you have to push the thickness somewhere, right? So the thickness can be in cooling and also can be in like a power supply. It could be something like that. A lot of the gaming laptops, you see how these big, massive power supplies and you're thinking, well, why is that? Well. Why don't I just do something like this? I can use a small one that's going to fit if it fits the ships, right? So we have this um, power supply here, and this one actually works. It's like a 96 watt power supply, and uh, the customer is using it, and it still gave the same problem even though we fixed the DC jack and we also fixed um, the battery issue, right? We just replaced it. So you're probably thinking, well, how's your motherboard, right? No, it's not actually. It's a little bit more simpler than that. Um, it seems like it might be by based on the symptoms, but we got something a little bit interesting. So I'm going to be showing you guys this one. Now, this one obviously isn't an original adapter, right? This is a 96 watt. This is like a universal adapter we have here. It actually shows like uh, voltages you can actually put out. It's actually pretty cool. So there's 19 volt. You want to make sure it's on 19 volts, especially when you're the laptop. You don't want to go higher. You don't want to damage something unless it's made that way right unless you have the original adapter now um usually you, when you have a laptop or you have the original adapter it's working fine there's a reason why that original adapter is there there's a reason why uh, the voltages on that adapter the voltages and wattage on that adapter exist in the first place and they're not going to give you something that isn't going to be good enough for your machine right that's the whole point of it and sometimes if you find one that you just say hey man it fits in there i'm just going to plug it in i'm going to use my laptop totally fine it's not going to work exactly like that. So let me show you a good example. <laughs> let me show you a good example of that today. Or we're, let's go on the overhead view. Okay, so we have this one here. This one's turning on. You can see obviously it's on. You can see the time, the date. Yep, right. And we have this adapter. And now we have this one. It's a universal adapter. But this should actually fit totally fun in here, right? It's going to fit in there. We're going to make sure we set it to our... 19 volts and I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it in now and you see it come on come off you see that how the backlight goes on and the backlight keeps going on and off and you also see here right that this light this is the the charge of the battery charging indicator light right and you see it keeps going on and off on and off. I don't know if I let me see if I can zoom in a little bit but they look at the battery icon in the corner see it now you see the, the thing that comes up, the little charging icon, and it will keep randomly just going in and going out, right? So <clears throat> even if we don't do anything, it'll go. See, it went again. Now it keeps charging, discharging, charging, discharging. So if this is giving you a problem, right? What you might do is you might actually wiggle this here, right? And then think, well, it's not charging. Something's not connecting. DC jack problem. You have multiple problems, right? I want to show you something else. So um, we see that this is happening all the time, right? This is constantly disconnecting and reconnecting. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut this down, right? And keep, keep an eye here still. This needs to fully shut down, the fan's still going. 
Okay, now it's shut down. And now look at the light here. This light means that the battery is charging, right? And now you can see it's very, very consistent. Now, what if I turn this on? And let's go to a BIOS here. And we still see that the light is charging, right? So that means this battery is actually charging still. Let's see if I, oh yeah, it's delete, I'm sorry. So let's go to the BIOS so we see that this is charging. I think MSI is delete, yes. So we can stay in the BIOS, right? This doesn't really have a problem. Let's, let's unplug it. You see that? The light goes off. Let's plug it back in. And the light keeps coming on, right? So if we do the same thing, we can do this over and over and over again. But watch this, this is interesting. So let's just boot to the OS. And watch the light here as we're, as we're booting to the OS, right? Let's see the light. Now I see the light went off there, right? Now it's gonna keep going on and off as the OS is loading. And now we see we have the problem here again, and it keeps charging, discharging, charging, discharging over and over and over again. So, so now if I shut this off, watch, I'm gonna shut off, you're gonna see this light is gonna stay right when it fully turns off. Right, okay, the fan stops spinning. Now the light is constant. So what's going on here? It looks like that um, this is only charging when it's like in an off state or maybe in the BIOS or when it's not going to Windows, right? It's a very consistent charge. Now, I would have another, um, the, I have another power supply here. And this one is more of an original. You usually see Chichoni is, uh, I, that's how you pronounce it, please let me know. Uh, what's the wattage on this one? This is a 180 watt Chichoni um, power supply. And this one is actually meant for an MSI. I believe they, they usually give them for MSI anyway because you don't see an MSI branded power supply. Watch, you'll see this light come on. Now let's try this with a bigger power supply. This is 180 watts. So it's basically double the wattage of it, right? Now let's go to the operating system. Let's just let it load all over again and see if the light's going to change at all. See, you can see now it's just more consistent, right? Now you're thinking, well, what's the problem with that? Let's just unplug it. Let's try it again. Let's try to, to play with it a little bit. Plug it back in. See the light come on. This is actually good. This is charging. It's consistent now. And you're thinking, well, what's the actual problem? Why is this going on when I just put in a bigger power supply? So you're probably thinking maybe that this may be a defective power supply that we have here, um, this one. That's not actually the case. So when you get a power supply that usually comes with this one, let's actually go look this up because I have it over here. If we do a random like just eBay search or something. Um, I even just Google, I guess the bottom cover of this, it has the MS16Q2, whatever, it's a charger. You can see that this actually requires what? These are important numbers, not just that it's a charger, it's that it's, a, and usually it's a little bit more expensive. Why? Because it is uh, the charger size, right? It's 180 watt. Um, it looks like almost the same one we have here anyway, um, but it's, a, or a Delta, you usually see one of those, um, especially on these name brands, they're usually if you're trying to get a genuine one, you have to get them usually through uh, China, right? It's usually how it works, whatever. But the whole idea is if we see one of these, um, we can see that not only is it a charger, it's a big 180 watt charger, right? It says 19 volts, 180 watts, and this is gonna work. So you're wondering why is that really important? Well, it's really important because um, not only is it powering on the device, you can see a 90 watt thing powers on the device, but you're doing something else as well. You're powering on the device and you're charging the battery at the same time. To get that result, you need to have a higher wattage power supply, and that's what's going to go ahead and fix your problem there. So if you're ever, so pretty much the, the point of the video is to, if you ever are getting like another power supply or you're having this type of problem, or you're wondering why the gaming laptop ones are so big, thick, and why my laptop is so thin? Why do I need such a crazy one? Why can't I just get like a USB-C one that does everything like Apple? Well, it's not quite the same. And you need to have, um, uh, there's certain power requirements that you need, especially if you're having a gaming one, most likely you're gonna need a higher wattage power supply. So pretty much the idea is try to stick with at least, if you're ever gonna have to get another one, um, uh, especially like a power supply, especially a gaming one, um, you want to try to get the same exact one that you have there, try to get a genuine one if you can. Um, I know some of them can be a little bit harder to actually get, especially if you're going through like a retailer. Um, it might be a little bit more difficult to get a genuine one as well or the same type of one, but you need to make sure that you match 
the um, the wattage is on there. That's very, very important, especially you don't want to go through a cycle where you're like, oh, I don't know what's going on. You know, we see clear problems on certain ones for these, right? There's a clear DC jack problem and a clear battery problem, but then you're still having a charging problem and then you bring your charger and it's not the same wattage as it is because we need to look it up and see. So that's usually the case. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please do like it. It really does help us a lot. Subscribe for more content. See you guys next video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.